happy to have you with us for the Retirement Education Hour. Megan Mozak, alongside financial instructors Kirk Cassidy and Michael Mazarin. We have a great show lined up for you today. It's really about freedom over fear. Well, how does that relate to retirement? We're going to talk today about how fear and anxiety will make you lose in retirement. But we're going to also outline how to avoid that, how to keep that from wrecking your retirement. We believe you deserve a great retirement, so we're going to give you some of the tools to help you achieve that today. And throughout the program, be listening. We're going to tell you about how the Retirement Education Foundation is setting up courses throughout the year that you can attend. And these are deep dives, master's level courses taught at major Michigan universities so that you can gain more confidence heading into retirement. We'll tell you how to register and get ready to get that front row seat and get that download from people like Kirk and Michael. And Kirk and Michael, I really want to dive into this topic with you. This is interesting. You say, actually, the industry hardwires us with fear and anxiety and doesn't give us the, the right advantages we need as we're looking at our retirement. Tell us more about that. Well, there's no question. I there, Okay, maybe, maybe I'm tinfoil hat a little conspiracy theory, but it, it the evidence is pretty obvious that the majority of retirees will struggle with fear and anxiety of many factors, but particularly around money and retirement. So the challenge for people is a lot, of, especially our listeners. We know who listens to our show. The people listening to this show are usually one to $10 million of investable assets. Same people are attending our courses, usually one to $10 million, one to $20 million. You guys have a lot of self-confidence around finances and money and financial literacy as you're going into retirement. The piece that you don't, you, you fail to remember and why the majority of you will struggle with fear and anxiety throughout retirement, resulting in, resulting in you way underspending what you otherwise should be spending and having the retirement you should have, this is driven by a relationship with money. Your relationship with money is going to change. When you're younger and you're accumulating wealth, when markets fluctuate and go up and down and we have a market event every four to seven, major market event every four to seven years, Many of you, particularly our listeners, haven't panicked. You've stayed the course. You've been fine because someone else has been sending you a paycheck every, every two weeks. Someone else is helping you to pay your bills. You are employed. But once you retire, you will not have that income stream coming from someone else. Now you have to generate all the income. And our industry is failing. They're failing to give you the information, the education, the coaching, and a comprehensive individualized plan for yourselves to give you that freedom as you age, cognitively things change, and you begin to ha slip and you become more vulnerable. And as a result, most people live with fear and anxiety and way underlive their retirement that they really could have. It really is. I mean, the industry conditioning people, you have to be cautious, you have to be fearful, you have to be afraid. And as a result, people spend less. And one thing you missed about when people are building their wealth, when there's volatility in the markets, not only are they getting a paycheck from someone else, someone else is paying their bills, but they're still saving. And so most right. people correctly recognize that when I'm still working, when I'm 20, 30, 40s, early 50s, and I still have decades plus before retirement and the market's down 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 percent, it's a great buying opportunity. And it is. And they're right. The best investments most people made were their 401k contributions during the 2008 crash. But the game changes when you are nearing or in retirement. And as a result, people don't know how to shift their relationship with the money from growing the wealth to spending it down. So, Michael, it's a really good point because and so so one of the things we're going to talk about is why the financial service in industry intentionally wants you to be afraid and be anxious in retirement. There's a self benefit to causing you to have fear and anxiety. And so what we're going to encourage you to do and we're going to talk about it all day is you need to register for one of our eight hour master levels courses that are being taught at all the major universities here in Michigan. We're also streaming them from your home while we're teaching them live. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. 
Kirk and Michael, what do you want our listeners to come away with uh, specifically on today's show about fear and anxiety in retirement? Well, I think one is I want the people that think they're going to have a plan and they're going to be okay to recognize everything, your emotions and relationships with your money is going to change once you retire. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth, right? And so we're here to tell you after teaching tens of thousands of people for many, many years, very, very highly educated people, very high net worth individuals, teaching them, you're all going to experience this. It's going to happen to you unless you really understand the levers that are going to drive success in retirement and how to find that freedom to not allow short-term market events to dictate or change your spending patterns. So we're going to talk about that in, in the show today, but more importantly, to get that knowledge, you got to attend an eight-hour course. So I think that's the biggest takeaway today is that First, we want you to recognize this is going to happen, and, and that's not going to be easy for us to get you to recognize you're going to have these fears and anxiety because you all, you've done pretty well, so you're very confident right now. But then, how do we resolve that? How do we work through that so we can actually spend spend like we, we've earned? You're, you're entitled to have freedom in retirement. You shouldn't worry about who's being elected or if we have a recession. Your spending patterns should never change throughout retirement, Michael. And that is in terms of, you know, obviously 2022 being the difficult year that it was for the markets is not fun for anyone, but it did help some people realize, wait a minute, maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was. And maybe I just got lucky that we had a 10 year bull run at the tail end of my compounding time frame here. And that's why I was doing so well the past 10 years before 2022. 100%. I, the other thing I want to get people to appreciate, Michael, is, is that you can ha many of you have what you need to give you what you want already. Many of you already should be retired. For some of you, you should have retired before last year, but now because of last year, you're not going to be able to retire for a couple of years, maybe even longer. So we're going to talk about that, the risk of hanging on and continuing to work when you've already won the race. Why are you doing that? And, and we're going to teach you why you're doing that. So it starts by attending one of our eight-hour courses. We're teaching them at all the major universities. We're streaming them live. If you'd like to attend one of these uh, master's level courses, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. And we'll return with Kirk and Michael right after this. It's a pleasure to be here with financial instructors Kurt Cassidy and Michael Mazarin, both with the Retirement Education Foundation. This is the Retirement Education Hour, a great show for you today as we're diving into this topic of fear and anxiety in retirement and how that can really wreck your retirement. The good news is Kirk and Michael, they're giving you the tools and strategies to keep that from preventing you from having a great retirement. We want you to live your retirement dreams, and that starts with information, and that starts with education. And this is really what the foundation is all about. That's why they sponsor Deep Dives, master's level courses on retirement planning, and we want you to attend. In fact, we want you in the front row, so reserve your seat today. You can do that at the website, retirementplanningedu.org, or the phone number, 800-240-8981. Keep in mind, these courses are conveniently taught around the state of Michigan at major state universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both the Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. There's also an option to attend virtually. Each and every one of these courses are streamed live. And so there is a way for you to attend in the comfort of your own home. So make sure you visit the website, retirementplanning.edu. Org. We're going to get back to our show topic. And speaking of this show, you're welcome to download this show wherever you find your favorite podcast. Simply search for Retirement Education Hour. Kirk and Michael, why is it that the financial industry seems to want to keep people fearful? Why don't they want to help them through this? Well, the simple answer is the more scared you are, the more fear about spending your money that you have, the less you'll spend. 
And the less you spend, the more the financial service industry makes. It's simple math, right? And I'll, we'll prove it to you, and I'll give you some of the rules to help you understand this. One is protect your principal. Okay, so let's be clear. The average baby boomer is going to retire with $200,000 saved. That's what they have. The average baby boomer has saved $200,000 with 40% of the people only having Social Security for retirement. So you all listening to our show that have that eight hundred to twenty million dollars, you're way above average for what you have saved for retirement. So you don't need to protect your principal. That person retiring with two hundred thousand dollars saved, the average baby boomer, needs to protect their principal. There's not enough resources to take care of emergency or healthcare events as you get older. So. Protecting your principal just assures that everybody in the financial service industry continues, their income doesn't go down. Their income is protected. As you're protecting your principal, you're protecting your advisor's income. Go ahead. So in terms of protecting your advisor's income, just let's let's highlight the, the dots here. Most advisors operate on an AUM fee basis. So the more their clients have, the more they make. And if they can scare their clients enough to spend less every year for any of the, of, the, of the common reasons, longevity risk, inflation, market volatility, just spend less, spend less, spend less. If they're spending less and their clients are protecting their principal, then the client's portfolios never go down. The advisor's income never goes down. And on top of that, it's a lot easier to tell someone, yeah, go ahead, take 2% withdrawals, 3% withdrawals, maybe 4% withdrawals per year. That person will never run out of money because they're simply not receiving enough income. I mean, those aren't even exaggerated numbers. Vanguard's new rule is 2.8% withdrawal rates. That's their recommendation. So if you have a million dollars saved for retirement, Vanguard says you can have $28,000 per year. That's the safe withdrawal rate. Morningstar, what are they, 3.7 or 3.8? Morningstar is 3.3. Oh, that's right. Morningstar is 3.3. I think Schwab is illustrating right now, last time I checked, at 3.7, 3.8%. 3.7, 3.8. And and Fidelity, their calculator is around the same area, 3.7, 3.8%. So, Michael, (laughs) so, so A... It preserves the advisors in the financial service industry's income. That's one. Two, it means they don't have to do any individualized custom planning for you. They can just have their intern spit your information, fill you, in 30 minutes, put in your information into eMoney or Money Guide Pro, a software that pits, spits out 30, 40 pages of probabilities of success, taking your 3 or 4%. There's no work involved, right? If you don't spend, they don't have to work. There's no job for them to do. It is the reason, Michael, when you say, can I retire? I need this much money. Can I retire? Ah, you should be good. You should be good. What, what do you mean you should be good? So how far does that get you in five years when you have a market, when we have a recession? Uh, you should be okay. What are you going to do? You're going to spend less. They're not planning. They're not giving you an individualized plan. Well, and a lot of people think that when the advisor is saying, you know, we got to be cautious here. Maybe you should work for a couple more years. Maybe you should pull back your spending a little bit. It's better safe than sorry. And people think, well, my team's looking out for me. They want me to be rather safe than sorry. They're one, they're protecting their own income. And two, they're just not doing the work that it takes to determine, do you have to work a couple more years or do you have enough? Do you have to pull back the spending? Or can you keep spending? Hey, I can tell you something. Those people who come to our class, you're going to know. So simple math. Ready? Put this in your head. If you take whatever you have saved and you're 65 years old, you can take out six, seven, eight, maybe 9% per year with zero chance of outliving your income. That's double what they're telling you you can have. We're going to teach you in the class the way to construct your income plans and minimize your taxes and map it out so that every time we have a major market event, which we're going to have four to seven times throughout a 30-year retirement, you just have to pivot where you take your income from. You don't change your investments. You don't change your spending patterns. You can build your own plans. You can have plans that are going to produce six, seven, eight percent withdrawal rates in your 60s. That's double from what they're telling you. And you're going to say, why don't they do it? Because to do it, it takes 60 hours of planning, 
tons of tax work, and why would they incentivize you? Why would they teach you how to spend down your money? What incentive do they have to show you how to spend more of your money or to retire any earlier? The longer you work, the more money that's saved, the more money they make. They are incentivized by you not spending your money. So they're going to come up with tons of stuff. The whole finan- the whole industry is coming up with things to create fear. We'll talk about inflation next. That's that's funny. For retirees, inflation's not an issue. It's not an issue. If you don't believe me, attend one of these eight-hour classes. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Attend one of our eight hours advanced master levels courses at all the major university uh, uh, major universities in Michigan. And don't forget that website. It's retirementplanningedu.org to get registered. We're back with Kirk and Michael straight after this. Happy to be alongside financial instructors, Kurt Cassidy and Michael Mazarin today. They are financial instructors, as I mentioned, with the Retirement Education Foundation. We've been telling you about the foundation's courses. Have you registered yet? We want you to get a spot today. So here's what you need to do. Go to the website. It's retirementplanningedu.org. Again, write it down, retirementplanningedu.org. You can also call to get registered, 800-240-8981 is the phone number. Again, that's 800-240-8981. And these courses are taught at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi or Troy Campus, and Oakland University. And if you'd like to attend virtually, you can do that. They stream every course live. So go to the website now, get registered at retirementplanningedu.com. Org. And this show, keep in mind, it is available anywhere you find your favorite podcast. You can download it. Simply search for Retirement Education Hour and share it with a friend. Kirk and Michael, we've been talking about fear and anxiety in retirement and mostly why the financial industry wants to keep people in that state so they can't experience this freedom in retirement. And you say inflation's one of those big topics they use to drive that wedge. Tell us more. So, you know, Michael, as we're talking about inflation, I, there's so many different messaging, so much messaging that the financial service industry uses to drive this fear and anxiety message. Inflation's a big one right now. And, and inflation fears to reduce retiree spending has been around for a long time. But right now, given what we're experiencing it's sort of set up perfectly for them to sell products that have special inflation riders on them to get you to spend less money early because you're going to need so much later. And I know I said something in the last segment that upset you a little bit, and you're right. I probably should re- recant that, that inflation isn't going to impact retirees. Sure, it has an impact on retirees, but here's the truth. Here's what happens. We've done this thousands of times. We've taught thousands of people. We have a private practice. We're responsible for over $2 billion. We have 1,200 of our own clients that are just retirees, 50 to 102 years old. We have the data. We know your spending patterns. And what we know is you're going to spend a lot more money in your 60s than you spend in your 70s. And then you're going to spend a lot more in your 70s than you do in your 80s. And something happens right around 80, 78, 80 years old, where your spending is going to fall off a cliff significantly, less than 50% of what you were spending before. Your only expense that is a variable is health events. And if you are designing a retirement plan properly, You can design it so that you can have more freedom to spend when you're younger with safety nets for long-term care events in your 80s and 90s. And Michael, this is how you're able to take your 6, 7, 8, 9% in your 60s with a zero chance of outliving your income with long-term care protections and safety nets if you set up your planning properly. If you set up your planning properly, excuse me, you're going to save hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes if you know what you're doing, how to build out your income plans. There's, in the problem we have, Michael, just think about this. If someone says, I need to use a 4% inflation factor 
throughout retirement and you retire at 65 years old and you say, I need $150,000 a year. That means when you're 85 years old, you're going to need over $300,000 to keep up with inflation. The people who come in and, and to the classes and say, well, you know, I just to be on the safe side, again, better be safe than sorry. People always think from that perspective, I'm going to use in my personal plan a three or a four or a f- we've heard 5% inflation factors. That's great. That means that you will never have the, the confidence to retire because the numbers that you think you have to hit in retirement to keep up with a 4% inflation rate are staggering over time. You won't time. get there. You won't get there. And then you'll work way longer than you have to. You'll spend way less than what you can afford. And then eventually, when you're 75 or 80 or 85 or 90 and you wake up with millions left over going, ooh, I was wrong. I didn't need a 4 or a 5% inflation factor, and I way underspent what I could have spent, and I worked way too long. Michael, the question is, if you retire at 65 and you are living on $150,000, do you think when you're 85 years old, your lifestyle is going to still be the equivalent of 150000 And the answer is no. We know it's not. I can tell you, you're going to go from two cars to one car. You're not going to be traveling anymore. You eat like birds as you get older. You eat less. You spend, You go out to eat less. You go. Some of you will go from two houses. Some of you have three houses. You're going to go to one house. Everything in your life, all of your spending goes down other than potential health care. Let's put health care aside. If you come to the class, we'll show you how to build out safety nets for yourself to allow you to spend more when you're younger. Because if you really, really believe in that much inflation that you're going to need, building it into your retirement plans, you are going to spend, you won't be able to spend anything in your 60s and 70s when you're healthy and active. And that's a shame. You spent 40 years working. It's your time to have freedom to do what you want when you want and spend. And then talk about the industry capitalizing on fear. When these inflation events do occur, I mean, we didn't see these a lot in the in the 2010s. Inflation was not a concern back then. But now we're seeing all the commercials on the gold coins and the gold IRAs and uh, the real estate IRA accounts. They're just, they're it's borderline predatory. They're playing on the fears of people of, don't you want to protect your buying power? Well, we'll call us right now for a special gold coin offer. They are trying to do whatever they can to twist people's anxieties, to sell product, to acquire whatever they were trying to acquire. And as a result, people are constantly serving the money and not making the change to let the money serve them. Michael, talk about manipulation. I love that you brought that up. The number one selling annuities. And by the way, come to the class. We'll we'll teach you the good, the bad, the ugly of annuities. We'll teach you how they price, how they work, the mechanics. We're going to teach you everything. But the number one selling fixed annuity in the industry right now is offered by a company called Allianz. And nothing wrong with the company. I'm not criticizing the company. It's the 222, Allianz 222. In fact, there's another radio host that sells that product all the time, all the time. That is the number one selling annuity in the industry. Why? Because it has an inflation rider feature on it. It is a piece of junk. I'm sorry, you can't, you'll have to live till 95 years old before you even break even. So, Come to an eight-hour course, make a $29 donation to charity, get a master's level education on how to understand how to have freedom in retirement and build an individualized plan for yourself. Register at retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. There's more Retirement Education Hour right after this. Thanks for joining us for the Retirement Education Hour today, where we're talking about fear and anxiety in retirement, how to combat those things so you can have a great retirement. I'm joined, of course, by financial instructors, Kurt Cassidy and Michael Mazarin. We're talking about this today, and we want you to also keep in mind that it's so important to take the next step. And that means signing up for a deep dive course. This is really a master's level course on retirement planning, and it's sponsored by the Retirement Education Foundation, taught at major Michigan universities. You can attend at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi Campus, or the Troy Campus, or Oakland University. It's easy to register. You can call or go online. The web address is retirementplanningedu.org. 
Again, retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. And this program, you can listen again, share with a friend. You can find it wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Simply search for Retirement Education Hour. Kirk and Michael, I want to jump back in here. You say that fear and anxiety will beat the DIYer, the person out there who's planning their own retirement. Why is that? Well, let's start, make sure that we understand, make sure that our listeners understand we know who you are that are listening to our show, and we know who attends our courses. The people attending our courses and listening to our shows tend to have over a million dollars of investable assets. They often are do-it-yourselfers. They often are engineers, CFOs. We have CFOs for Fortune 500 companies come into our classes regularly. CPAs, attorneys, I think I said engineer. Lots of engineers. Lots of you engineers are listening. We know. Highly educated people. In fact, we know that they, we tend to have a lot of highly educated listeners. We know you have done a really good job. You've had a lot of discipline to accomplish what you have. Your discipline of investing and saving has helped you to get where you're at today. There's also been a lot of luck. The last 10 years, you had the greatest bull market run in the market history, and you are going into retirement with a tremendous amount of confidence, sometimes overconfidence or even arrogance. And here is what's going to happen. You're going to panic because everyone around you is going to be panicking once you retire and you see your portfolio drop by 25, 35, 40% when we have a major market event, you're, you're going to change your spending patterns. You're going to spend less every time we have a major market event. I think that's the important one too, Michael, is that People think these these are one-offs. Throughout a 30-year retirement, you're going to have three, four, five, six major market events. So if your plan is, I'm going to live on 4%, I'm going to reduce my spending every time there's a major market event, You are that means, translation, because you were determined to do this yourself and you think you have it all figured out, You're going to way underspend what you otherwise should have spent, and you're going to leave a spouse probably in a very vulnerable position. And I know in the classes, we often, during this portion of the class, hear a lot. We get a lot of chuckles from the engineers and say, no, 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 I'm not going to panic. I'm a a logical, data-driven person. I make rational decisions. That's great. I'm sure that applies to your job, and I'm sure you're great at your job. But to think that you are special... When we've seen hundreds of people who thousands. came, thousands of people who came from similar backgrounds, and to no fault of their own, it's human nature. The game changes when you retire. To think that you're special, we got to set the ego aside for a second. That's number one, and realize that you are probably more similar to the typical do it yourself than you realize, which is nothing wrong with that. We tell people when you're building the wealth, you should be a do it yourselfer. You don't need to pay an advisor 1% to tell you to pick an index fund and call it a day. That's not rocket science. But the game changes. That's number one. And number two, if if your spreadsheets tell you, okay, even if I have a 30%, 40% drawdown, I'm still okay. It's one thing for your spreadsheet to tell you that, and it's a second thing to actually continue to spend at that rate. I can promise you you're not going to have the same peace of mind and freedom taking a vacation when you know in the back of your mind your portfolio is down 40%. It's just not going to happen. And then number three here is if your plan is just to not panic because that's what worked for you when you were building the wealth, sequence of returns risk is going to ravage your plan and your portfolio. And if you've never heard of sequence of returns risk, you need to come to the class. You got to come to a class because that's, that's like retirement planning 101 is sequence of returns risk and the massive risk that has on investors. So let's say they get it right. Let's say they, their discipline, they follow the 4% rule. The, the end result of you trying to do this yourself in retirement is you're going to live on less, you're going to pay more taxes, and you're going to have more fear and anxiety as you age. That's a fact. I, I will I'll, we'll guarantee it. I'll, I'll make you a deal. All of you who have been procrastinating and deciding whether to attend this class, I will make a $1,000 donation to whatever charity you want 
If after you attend this course, you don't feel you're better prepared, changing your whole perspective on what you need to do in retirement to have the best outcomes. In other words, I will guarantee after you come to an eight hour course, you will spend more money, you will pay less taxes, and you'll have more freedom and less anxiety. I, I'll, I will make a donation to whatever charity you want. And I do that at every class, by the way. And in 12 years now, I've had it thousands. I think we're tens of thousands of people we've taught now. I've had to do it twice, both at an, at an Ann Arbor class, ironically. And both times, I would personally challenge. They did whatever. Learn. They were just being stubborn, but that's, that's, that's fine. They didn't like what we were... You're not going to like all the things we're telling you, and that's why it's eight hours before you understand why we're t- it is we're telling you what we're telling you. Here's the other thing, Michael. You are getting older, so old, that you're eventually going to be told you can't do your jobs anymore. You're not allowed to fly a pain. You can't do your jobs. But you think you are going to, as you're cognitively declining, be able to manage and navigate a there's a lot of levers to pull for There's the very a lot of first decisions. time for the very first time. You've never done it in your life because you've read something or some expert that told you how to do a retirement plan. We're telling you, we've seen this. This is why most people in retirement have fear and anxiety and don't have freedom. Attend one of our eight hour courses. We teach it at the university of Michigan, Eastern Michigan university, Michigan state university, both the Noi, Novi and Troy campuses, Oakland university and we stream them live while we're teaching it from the university so you can stay it in your home and watch it. Eight hours, a 200-page textbook. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Plenty more to come. Stay with us. You're listening to the Retirement Education Hour. We're glad you've joined us for the Retirement Education Hour. Megan Mozak here with financial instructors Kurt Cassidy and Michael Mazarin. They're both with the Retirement Education Foundation. We've been telling you about the foundation's courses. These are master's level courses in retirement planning, and you owe it to yourself to get registered today. We want you to reserve your spot. Seats do fill up quickly, ladies and gentlemen. And keep in mind, these are courses taught at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi, and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. There's also a virtual option. These courses are streamed live. So you can attend from the comfort of your own home. And to register, I want to send you to the website. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Or you can pick up the phone and call 800-240-8981. Again, that phone number is 800-240-8981. Eight, one. This program, by the way, as you've been listening to our topic, fear and anxiety in retirement, if that's something you feel you're susceptible to, you're walking down that road and you're looking for ways to combat those things, and you want to re-listen to this program, if you missed any portion, I'm going to send you to wherever you get your favorite podcast. You can re-listen. You can share it with a friend. You can download other episodes. Simply make sure you search for Retirement Education Hour. That's Retirement Education Hour. All right, Kirk, Michael, as we've been talking about fear and anxiety in retirement, what are some of the common strategies that the financial industry uses to combat this? Well, it's interesting. It's 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 manipulative at best, right? Now, I, and please understand when we're making these, when we're critical of the financial service industry, it's not the individual people that that are working in the industry because people don't know what they don't know, and most people helping people in the financial service industry don't know that they work for a firm and they are a firm that focuses on accumulation of the wealth, not the distribution of the wealth. And they have been taught specific questions to ask, discovery questions to ask, to help and assist their clients. This is what they're taught. The problem is the financial service industry developed those questions and rules, and people are just echo chambering those questions and rules across the industry. Great example. How much income do you need in retirement? That's a terrible question. No, the question should be, how much income can I have in retirement? 
If someone ever you're working with says, how much income do you need in retirement? Don't, they shouldn't be asking you. You should be asking them, how much income can I have? How much, what's my max income I can have? I came to you, Mr. or Mrs. Financial Expert. You're supposed to give me the advice. Tell me how much I can have. I Tell me when I can retire. Not, do you want to retire? When do you want to retire? No, I, I don't. I want to retire when you tell me I can retire, expert. We always laugh because it, imagine going to a doctor. If you have something going on, you go to a doctor and the doctor asks you, well, what do you think we should do? Uh, I came to you. You're the doctor. You're the expert. You tell me what I should be doing. That's Now, it, it's the same concept, but in the financial services industry, they ask you, well, how much can you live on? What do you need at the minimum? That's not what you should be shooting for is the minimum. I, I'm sure someone can get by on less income in retirement, but that doesn't mean they should be shooting for less income in retirement. Well, why why, why are they doing it this way, Michael? Because Why it, are these questions posed the way they're – why are they asking them instead of telling them? If someone – if they convince someone, you know, I know you're, you're earning $100,000 a year right now while you're working, but – you know, once you're retired, you can get by on fifty thousand a year, can't you? Or, or eighty thousand, or eighty, whatever the number is, you can get by on less, can't you? Because if they convince that person to spend less, that person's going to work longer, and then when they do retire, they're going to spend less. Their portfolio doesn't shrink, and the advisor keeps earning the same amount of income per year. And and they're not spending time building a plan. Got because it. Because it's real darn easy to tell someone, yeah, go ahead, take 3% per year. That's not a, that's not a problem. That's not going to be an issue. Take your 3% and yeah, go because, be happy with that. Because they're just going to stick it into their software, run a Monte Carlo, run all the iterations to figure out the likelihood of success or failure. And, oh, look, if you only take that much, you succeed 90% of the time or 80% of the time. Ding, ding, ding. That's your plan. You won. Not no. to mention, it's never been easier now that treasuries are, treasuries are yielding 4 4.5%. Four of course you can have 3%. That's not that's not challenging. But if they convince you to spend less, they get to continue earning more. You're going to work longer. You're not going to bug them to spend more income because they've scared you sufficiently. It's a, just another scare and fear tactic. Think of all the general rules. Protect your principal. No, you you folks that have several millions of dollars in retirement do not need to protect your principal. Especially if legacy, what you leave to your children, is in a priority. A controlled spend down of your principal, just don't let me outlive my money. That's the plan you're looking for. Not protect your principal so you can protect the advisor's income stream. That's crazy. Okay, another one, the 4% rule. Well, come on. I'm telling you, come to the class. Hey, don't come to the class. Go to the charity's website, retirementplanningedu.org. And just look at the, the, I think it's a 30, 40 minute webinar on what a retirement plan should look like. We put up a retirement plan that is showing pulling 8% withdrawal rates at 65 years old. Double the withdrawal rates, bulletproof plan. It can't fail. That plan cannot fail because that plan took 60 hours to build. Mapped out all the levers, all the pivots when we do have market events so you don't have to change your income and your lifestyle. That's the other rule. Spend less during times of market volatility. Oh, another rule. You are 60 years old, so the rule of 100 says you should have 60% in bonds and 40% in stocks. That's crazy. Every, your investments and how you invest should be driven based upon what do I need to give me what I want in retirement. Every decision, every decision you make going forward at this point on should be based upon what do I need to give me what I want? And it's just common sense. Warren Buffett said it. You have to be insane to risk what you have for something you don't need. And that's the challenge, Michael. A lot of our listeners, a lot of the people attending our classes, they already won the marathon. They already have what they need to give them the retirement they want. They just don't know it. And the advisors aren't going to tell you that you've got it. Because they want you to work longer. They make more money and they don't have to plan and they have no risk and they have no liability. Come to an eight-hour class. Please attend an eight-hour class. There's no reason not to. This is an advanced class. You're not wasting your time. I promise. I've given you the $1,000 donation to a charity guarantee. Attend an eight-hour class. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register... Go to retirementplanningedu.org. 
That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll return more with Kirk and Michael right after this. Glad you've been with us for the Retirement Education Hour. Great topic on fear and anxiety in retirement, how to combat those things. We've also been telling you how to register for the Foundation's upcoming courses on retirement planning held at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. Here's how to do it. Go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Dot org. The phone number to register, 800-240-8981. And we want to also remind you that this show is available wherever you find your podcast. Simply look for Retirement Education Hour. But Kirk and Michael, as we've talked about fear and anxiety in retirement and how to combat it, what are some of the best ways we can take action against this? Well, here it is. It is education and then planning. Ironically, the education that our charity teaches and been teaching for over 12 years to thousands, I think now tens of thousands of people, are being taught at all the major Michigan universities. And it's a master's level course. It is designed for that one to $20 million client, but we are teaching strategies that are used in family offices for those $50 million plus families, the advanced tax strategies the advanced income strategies, how to navigate different market events as they occur throughout retirement. Where do I take my income from? It comes down to, and I know a lot of you are really sharp people. We know that one to $20 million family tends to be educated, sophisticated, really good with money. I can assure you in this eight hour course, everything you think that's going to drive success in retirement you're wrong. I'm that confident. It is not going to be what you invest in that's going to drive performance in retirement. I know what that is what everyone has taught you. That's what the financial service industry has been promoting and preaching to you, primarily because that's their only value proposition is they can invest better than you can. That's not the truth. It's not what you invest in that's going to drive performance. It's knowing when to take income from different accounts during different market conditions. When markets are down, I gotta pull money from different accounts. When markets are up, I gotta pull money from different accounts. And then it's tax efficiency. How do I fill brackets, not bump brackets? How do I look at my 30-year plan and project what my tax rates are gonna be in my 70s and 80s? And then work backwards to look at what is my tax bracket right now and over the next 10 years? And how can I blend in things to minimize saving? Most of the time, for most people who that, that are higher net worth, millions of dollars in taxes. Mapping this out, that's the one piece. The second piece is, Michael, it's the continued education after you have a plan. You need a coach. Well, that is one thing. So it's one thing to have the, the math problem solved, all the, the tax planning, the income planning, the risk planning, all that stuff solved. That's great. Beyond that, it requires continued education of, okay, how does this plan work? Why does this plan work? Okay, the markets are constantly changing. Tax laws are changing. Estate laws are changing. The world's constantly changing. How does this plan change over time to continue to protect me and continue to give me peace of mind and freedom to go spend? Right, because it, because your your advisor or your anyone just telling you, uh, you should be okay. You're going to be okay. That's not going to help you when you're 75, 80 years old and you're starting to get confused in the markets. We're having a a lost decade like we had in the in, in the 2000s. Or if they're trying to say, okay, we're going to tilt defensively. We're, we're going to tilt aggressively. We're going to sector rotate. We're going to... It's Hell nonsense. That. That's it's not, nonsense. It's total nonsense. That They shouldn't be changing your investments, by the way. That isn't going to drive your success in retirement. It, it's set it and get, get away from it. It's your income. It's where you're pulling your income from. That's what you can change because none of us can predict the market. None of us. No one. No one. We're responsible for billions of dollars. We can't predict the markets. Nobody can, no, despite the financial industry trying to convince you that they can or they have an algorithm or some secret sauce that allows them to predict things. They can't. But what we can do is react where we pull our money from during those market events, not change our investments. And so one of the things we're going to teach you in the class it's something we do in our private practice for our private practice clients is after spending 60 hours building a plan for 
the clients we choose to work with. We spend over a million dollars a year just for our clients to do a TV show every two weeks to talk about what's going on in the markets and the, in, in the economy right now and then help them to understand within their plans all the levers and reasons why they don't have to worry. They don't have to change their lifestyle. There is a plan for every possible scenario throughout retirement. And how can you do how can we do that? How can we teach you that? We've done it thousands of times for thousands of people. We have seen it all. We've got it. That's why you have to go get the education, Michael. And you know what's funny? Consistently after every single class, we have a handful of people sticking around even after the eight hour class. They're still sticking around because they uh, they want more information, more education. They're excited. And they say, boy, I don't know what took me so long to sign up. Well, we know what took you so long. Either ego, people think I don't need to do that. Or some people, they go the opposite way. They bury their head in the sand. I don't want to think about it. It's scary. It's complicated. Or they go eight hours. Boy, you know, I'm busy. That's a long time. Or, or they think we're going to sell them something. And by the end of the class, they recognize, okay, well, one, Kirk's been teaching with his hair on fire this whole time, and he's been keeping our, our entertainment engaged. And two, I now have more answers for retirement. You're going to come away with answers. You're going to understand all the levers. You may not be able to construct the retirement plan, but you're going to know if somebody can do it or not for you. And if what you have is right or wrong, I'm going to bet it's wrong. That's part of the class, too, is how do you choose an advisor? How do you do a background check? We will teach you how to find the right people to help you. It's an educational course by a charity. There's nothing being sold. This is an educational event. All you have to do to attend is make a $29 donation to charity. These courses are taught at all the major universities around Michigan. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Or you can call 800 240 89 8-1. Retirement Education Foundation is a fiscally sponsored program of United Charitable, a registered 501c3 public charity. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any insurance discussed in this show is backed by the financial strength and claims paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual's situation. Retirement Education Foundation is not permitted to offer, and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Retirement Education Foundation. This radio show is paid for by the Retirement Education Foundation.